checkpoint is right here. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna drag it out to my desktop because it's easier. But you're not gonna need uh, Independence Compiler anymore. You got your IS Central thing, so should be good. So um, this is your exploit. Yep, this is what's gonna let you boot backup games. And you are gonna need something that transfers it to your PS2. So, uh, well, this is where this is basically where um, the save builder comes in that I told you to download. If you haven't downloaded that, you can find it on SKS apps. Uh, go to click on it. Uh, Excited of this. Okay, so it um should basically be configured for you. Just kind of open, click open, file open, or little folder that looks like it's opening, and you go to where your IS central file is. Um, desktop. Where's desktop? There's desktop. All right. So IS central open, and it should come up to this. Should have boot elf, and mine is 361 KB, which is what 4.16 ULE is. You launch elf, cog swap elf, which is gonna get you to let you back up, play backup games. Title DB, title database, which is gonna um, where all your PS1 games are, because you're gonna need that to start it up. Uh, icon system, which is just icon in there, and my ICN, which I have no idea what that is, but it doesn't matter. Um, it should say right here, if you are NTSC, it should say BA data system. BA data system, which is the uh, short for um, your system configurations on PS2. And uh, if it, it should say like, um, what was it, like BU data system or BU data system for um, PAL systems, but either way, it's one of those two, so you're just gonna save it, go to save as, and name it, I believe, I guess you would just name it, uh, let's get technical, your system, it's gonna be capital Y, your, capital Y, capital S system and capital C config duration your system configuration now um, as the save as type you're gonna go to whatever it is that you're transporting the file to with your PS2 so it could be game shark that would be um, shark port if you have Game Shark uh, one or two or three or whatever, and let me tell you, this won't work with Game Shark. The newer Game Shark versions, Game Shark four or five, I don't know if it'll work for three, but um, it works for just about any AR game, any AR cheating system, and any code breaker before ten, I believe. And uh, I don't know much about Exploder or um, much af after that, but you can try it and it might work, it might not. But for mine, I'm going to be doing Code Breaker saves. And like I said, my Code Breaker disk is like screwed up right now. So I'm not going to be showing you how to put it on. You basically just... Uh, I'll explain it in the next video. Okay, so um, you got that, so you can just close save builder. You got your system configurations. Now, what you do is from there rename it instead of dot cbs or whatever you have. Dot ps2 is what you're gonna have. Your system configuration dot ps2. That's what you're gonna have. It's gonna look like this, exactly like that. Alright, that's what it's going to look like. And if you have this, your, um, that's your whole exploit thing. That's, that's going to go on your PS2, and you're very close to having an exploit, which is basically like a mod chip. 
Well, except for it's a little worse, but it doesn't cost any money, so that's good. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna make another video showing you how to use CogSwap and how to boot it up. Alright? So, peace out, everybody, and see you later in the next video. See ya!